Hello Cancer. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who or what is coming towards you, and what do you need to know about that person or that situation. So let's jump right in and see what energies come out for you. Spirit, angels, guys, please. Energy. What message do you have for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Take what applies to you, Cancer, because not every reading will resonate 100% for Cancer. Who or what is coming towards them? Who or what is coming towards Cancer? Who or what is coming towards Cancer? So let's see Cancer. Wow, the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Very loving, compassionate, kind person. Someone that's very... Um, hmm, I'm getting a very fatherly type of energy from this. Hmm. Maybe this person's older than you, wiser. Maybe they always give you advice. Maybe they're very deep thinkers or very in touch with their emotions very like if you feel like you can trust them maybe four of pentacles and the eight of swords okay so there's like a holding back energy here so this person might be all of those things i just mentioned but they're holding back maybe due to fear four of pentacles eight of swords interesting i wonder why they're holding back Maybe this is someone with a lot of feelings for you, Cancer, but they're not communicating them. They're holding on to what they're feeling. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to act on what they're feeling or thinking about you, wants to take action, wants to be bold. What the world is this? I guess these were already flipped up. In my deck, Judgment and the Queen of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this person knows exactly what they want to do, what action they would want to take. I think this Queen of Wands is you. Okay, let me put those back and see. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Wow, yeah, the Two of Cups. So this person really, they already have feelings for you, Cancer. I think that this person sees a connection with you, has an understanding of your connection, wants to make a move on this connection, etc., etc. Interesting that they're holding back, though. Tell me about the King of Cups. Six of Cups. This could be a soulmate because we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups here together. This could be somebody that you have a history with. There's a past here. Hmm. But now I'm even more curious. What's the holdup? What's going on here? What's like the this holding back energy if this person feels this way towards you? Wow, look look what we just wanted to flip over. <laughs> the ace of cups. Yeah, there's definitely love here. Feelings, emotions towards you. And again, there's like this depth to this person. Okay, tell me about the four of okay strength leo energy tell me about the four of pentacles and the eight of swords okay we have the ten of cups my deck really wants to talk today tell me about the four of pentacles and the eight of swords this is interesting because it's like opposite energies yeah the emperor aries energy and the queen of pentacles so it's almost like they're holding back, but it, 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 there's no reason I feel that they should hold back unless there's someone, there's a marriage here involved because the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor to me, they already have partners typically. Um, typically they're already involved or in long-term commitments. Also the Emperor would not hold back in this way. They're very decisive. The emperor is someone that, you know, again, that energy that I got with the king of cups, someone older, wiser, almost like a parental figure. This person could be a parent, does not have to be, but I'm getting parental from that king of cups. 
Ten of Cups is like a happy ending, and the Strength card is about kind of using a different approach to get what you want. And then we have the Queen of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I feel like this person is fighting themselves a little bit here. This could also be you, Cancer. You feel free to flip this if this resonates more for you. Maybe you're holding back from taking the action that you want to take on a specific person. But I, I'm almost questioning, like, let's say there's not another commitment to think about, right? Maybe there is no other um, interference in terms of another person, right? When I look at all these energies, I think, well, what do you have to lose? Because it looks really good, right? Ten of Cups, it's like you get everything. Maybe this person is afraid that they won't measure up, that they won't get here with you, that the happy ending is out of reach. Tell me more about the energies for Cancer here. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about the energies for Cancer. What's coming towards Cancer in love? What do we need to know? Unhealthy attachment and moving forward. So I feel like someone's leaving some difficulty behind here. Bonds, toxicity, and uh, codependency. And then moving past that into something new. We have budding romance at the bottom of the deck. What else do we need to know? For cancer so this could be you cancer or your person moving past something that has been holding you back because an unhealthy attachment is like a chain it's it's like it's like a uh, like a like a noose or some sort of like prison what do we need to know about what's coming towards cancer very soon Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Maybe this person is holding back. It's time to disconnect from the world. Retreat. Yeah, I feel like this person is holding back because there's probably an unhealthy attachment here. This Eight of Swords could be something that's preventing them from being a Knight of Wands. We have Flirt at the bottom of the deck. So let's ask... What do we need to know about this individual or this situation that we don't know? Spirit, what does Cancer need to know about this situation or this person that they might not be aware of? What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know that, they're, that they don't know or that they're not aware of? What does Cancer need to know about this situation? What does Cancer need to know? Let's see, Cancer. What do you need to know? The moon, Pisces energy, the page of pentacles. Wow, the wheel of fortune. So with the moon right away, I'm getting that someone is feeling a bit in the dark. There's probably illusions, um, things that are hidden beneath the surface, a lack of clarity. There's uncertainty with the moon. Something's happening, I feel, this is like happening behind the scenes, maybe. We'll see what the moon's about, Pisces energy, if I didn't mention that already. But, you know, if this is what you need to know, I feel like you don't know everything with the moon. Also, there's some sort of turnaround with the Wheel of Fortune or an opportunity that appears. Let's start there with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Page of Pentacles is a small offer. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's going on here? This could also be about timing. Wow, the Ten of Swords. Hmm. I mean, I keep getting this message for signs. And there's the Emperor again with the Five of Swords. So, okay, when I see these energies together, sorry, I hit the tripod. The Ten of Swords is like a difficult ending. Um, something that is very tough on someone, a cycle that ends badly, or a cycle that ends and is very painful. This could also be that something ended between you and this person in the past, and now there's like an opportunity, a turnaround here. The Five of Swords is a very difficult um, 
card because it can mean so many things. I like to call this card the playing dirty card. It's someone that's not playing fair. Um, they're so worried about winning, um, about not losing, about coming out on top that they kind of do whatever it takes and walk over whoever they need to walk over and take advantage of whatever situation they need to take advantage of. Deceptive energy as well, because this person um, in this card has three swords when everybody else showed up with one. So again, an unfair advantage. So I feel like this ending is happening because of that five of swords, but at the same time, there's an opportunity here. Here's the emperor again. Tell me about the emperor. There's an opportunity for this emperor to take charge, to take control back, to deal with this situation in a very decisive way. Why is the emperor here for cancer? The hermit, Virgo energy. So they're thinking a lot, planning, but again, being quiet. The hermit does not communicate. They listen to their intuition. Oh wow, and there's the queen of cups and the two of cups. So. I feel like this emperor is thinking about you here. Maybe they feel really far away from you because the hermit has withdrawn. The hermit is by itself and they're quietly thinking. I feel like this person, if they're dealing with an ending around them, the minute this ending happens or while this is going on, they're thinking about you. There's a two of cups again at the bottom of the deck with the three of swords behind it. So, you know, again, I see that there's a possibility here that this ending already happened between you or is an ending that could bring about an opportunity. I still feel like I'm reading for two cancers there. Feel free to let me know in the comments which one you resonate with there. Tell me about the hermit. The hermit plans for the future. They're seeking answers. Okay, so this is about an opportunity, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm, so while everything's going on here with this Ten of Swords, this Emperor is thinking about an opportunity for them. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? The Queen of Wands. Okay, so now we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. See, the Queen of Cups, I feel, is like how they feel towards you emotionally. And then the Queen of Wands, I feel like this is still you, but it's like the actions they want to take, the motivation that they feel. I'm really hoping this is not two different people. Tell me about the moon. The Five of Pentacles. See, there's something here going on behind the scenes. The Five of Pentacles is like a loss. It could be somebody missing you feeling like they need help, they need assistance. There's the unhealthy attachment. The devil, Capricorn energy shows up. And the page of swords. So I feel like this person, yes, is there, there's like an attraction here where this person is like keeping their taps on you, watching you from afar, observing you in some way, talking to you perhaps. But there's an attachment here that's very difficult with the five of pentacles and the devil. Could be a financial attachment when I see these two. Tell me more about this, um, about the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Three of wands. So there, this is, um, wow, and a 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is some sort of burden that someone's experiencing. This attachment is a burden. And I also feel it's causing delays. The Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, and there's a Knight of Wands right after that. So it's like they want to take action now, but they can't for whatever reason. And I don't know if you know about this, Cancer, or if this person is keeping all of this to themselves because the moon is here, or if there's some sort of um, illusion that you're not aware of. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The Chariot, there you are, Cancer. An offer for you, and there's that moving forward energy as well. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, yeah, this is being given to you. Maybe they wanna rebalance the situation by making you this offer, what else? 
Eight of Wands and the Star, Aquarius energy. I, I feel like this is movement. I feel like the offer here is to move past something. But the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So another card about kind of options and things not being as they seem. Because the Seven of Cups is you have options in front of you, all of these cups, but not every cup is what it looks like at face value. <coughs> Hope, faith, renewal, healing with the star. So when I see the six of pentacles and the star, I think of someone saying, you know, um, this will be fixed or this will be, this will work out. Have faith, believe, it will work out. The world. Yeah. So basically what I'm seeing here is that there's an opportunity for you and this person to be together. I feel this Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Swords, they go hand in hand. There's an ending of a cycle here with the world, right? A chapter closes for another one to open. <clears throat> yeah, and this is all about leaving something behind. Six of Swords, moving forward. The Chariot, Six of Swords. But I feel like someone is holding back here or delayed because of a burden. And for some reason, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is helping them get out of this situation. But it's up to them to take that opportunity. The Wheel of Fortune is not a forced opportunity. It's a door that's presented in front of you. It's up to you to open that door. Spirit will not push you through that door. So I feel like this um, Emperor here is probably concerned with some sort of conflict with the Five of Swords, where maybe they will be a loser. Maybe they will miss out on something. Maybe it's financial. Maybe they have to be the bad guy or the bad girl in this situation in order to get what they want, which is this opportunity. They want this Knight of Pentacles and they're planning for it. But the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest Knight. It's not the Knight of Wands. So I feel like what's happening here is there are There's an opportunity for this person to move forward, for this connection to move forward. And this emperor is still thinking about it. Despite the fact that I think this page of pentacles is like a promise to make a move here or to balance things out. What's the star doing here? Why is the star here? It's for cancer. Why is the star here? Yeah, the Lovers, Gemini energy, and then the Temperance card at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy. We will fix this. This will be fixed. We will come together. We will have balance and harmony. Our connection will be healed. This issue will be resolved. Like, I feel like someone is still having hope that that will happen or is telling you about this. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know about this Wheel of Fortune? Page of Cups and Death. Wow. And then there's the world again at the bottom of the deck in case you needed more confirmation. Yeah, I feel like this person, something has to end with this Wheel of Fortune or this Wheel of Fortune has something to do with an ending. And it's opening a door. There's an opportunity here for you to reconnect. So I'm going to extend this because I want to know what this emperor is thinking, feeling about you and what are their intentions for the future when it comes to you? What are actions will they take? Because the hermit is not an action. The hermit is just thinking. Page of Swords is just communicating, right? I'm really hoping that this Cherry energy is what they want to, you know, the six of swords that showed up. They're the ones getting on this chariot and making that move. But we'll see the extended if that's the case. Pages, death, a page of cups and death to me is like they can express their love to you or they can apologize to you. You know, sorry it took so long or 
I'm finally here because something has ended or changed. 